Okay, so here, once again, I'm stuck reviewing the Nukige visual novel. Lights dimmed? Check. Is the girlfriend at her house tonight? Check. Pre-chosen best girl for optimal route first time through? Check. Alright, I'm ready to go. Neon Cafe Macchiato's Sexy Times at the Cat Cafe stars Kuya, a soon-to-be teacher who has terrible luck. It seems like everything he does, bad things happen to those around him, and his apartment burning down in the opening moments is just one of those things. His grandpa offers him a place to stay, but in return he will need to run a cat cafe. He tells this to three of his students, Mike, Amari, and Persia, who then take up part-time jobs to help out. Within the first night of training, or the opening, the three girls each sneak into his room at night and confess their love for him. To solve this situation, Kuya decides to date all of them, and for some reason or another, they agree. The setup is exceptionally lacking any real substance, but opening up the romance straight to a harem is a bold move. Following the opening scene, players are able to make choices during intermissions to decide the love interest for that day. This also ends up locking them into several different routes. As the main protagonist, Kuya is nothing special, and his only real personality trait is that he's a pervert. Things like accidentally saying tits when Percy is around or commenting on someone's sexual preference are all the butt of many of his jokes. And it gets old rather fast. I mean, he's just not that great. Each girl adds a different personality to the game. Mika is actually the only one who seems to genuinely like Kuya as she had an interest in him for quite some time. She's exceptionally outgoing which made me feel bad for her since she had to share the person that she loves with the other girls. In later parts of the story, her mom makes an introduction and yes, things get spicy. Amade has some split personality disorder where she is quiet and shy but then her hair turns silver and she turns into a completely different person. Amare's attraction to Kuya came only after he noticed her but before that, no one could even remember her name. Persia might have been the favorite of the developers because her route just completely goes off the rails. She's the most sexually entombed and she carries herself in a mature manner. She's also pretty cruel to people and seems to enjoy one-upping those around her. There's really no reason for her to date Kuya other than she thinks it would be fun. You'll easily get what you came for in Yon Cafe Macchiato. Past the opening moments, you begin to lose interest in the characters because Kuya just sucks and it's tough to understand why this is happening to him. When the story remembers that Kuya is supposed to have bad luck, it's a little too late to the point where I almost forgot that point about him entirely. The player has some interaction with the game as certain choices will lead to optional endings for the characters. They're all noticeable and can't really be missed. I think the problem is the lack of any real drama or tension. This is a light-hearted story through and through, which makes it kind of unsatisfying. Neon Macchiato has some great character illustrations. The facial animations and different poses of the characters matches the tone of the story. Furthermore, the CGs are just really good. Almost too good for the lacking story bits. I imagine that most people will be playing the game only interested in these sections so I can assure you this title offers a lot of great age scenes. Neon Macchiato is a visual novel that fails to execute a unique narrative within the genre but does a few interesting things to at least hold the reader's attention. The illustrations are rather excellent which makes it easier to bear with the lacking main protagonist and throwaway story bits. If you're looking for a lighthearted comedy with no real direction, then you found it. Noisy Pixel is giving Neon Sexy Times at the Cat Cafe a 6 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Please read the full review at NoisyPixel.net. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content.